Apoptotic signaling pathways. Objectives. What is apoptosis? Difference between apoptosis and necrosis. Apoptotic cell death. Pathways. Extracellular factors affecting apoptotic pathways and diseases associated with apoptosis. The word apoptosis derives from Greek language and means trees shedding their leaves in autumn, which describes a dropping off or falling off of petals from flowers or leaves from trees. It describes cell death triggered by physiological or pathological stimulation, often termed as suicide program. It is a form of programmed cell death that occurs in multicellular organisms. A programmed sequence of events led to the elimination of, of cells without releasing harmful substances into surrounding area, plays a crucial role in eliminating unnecessary and unhealthy cells. Between 50 and 70 billion cells die each day due to apoptosis in average human adult. Now here lies the question, why cells undergo apoptosis? It is a general and convenient way to remove cells that should no longer be part of the organism. Some cells need to be deleted during development, while some cells are abnormal and could hurt the rest of the organism if they survive, such as cells with DNA damage. In 1842, Carl Vogt first described the principle of apoptosis. In 1885, Walter Fleming gave more precise description of programmed cell death. 1965, John Fox and Ross Kerr distinguished the apoptosis used by electron microscopy. In 1972, he initially used the apoptosis term. In 2002, three scientists, Sidney Brenner, Horvitz, and John E. Sestin were awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine, according to the contribute in apoptosis research area. Apoptotic cell death. Cells dying from apoptosis undergoes characteristic morphological changes. They shrink, chromatin condenses, cytoskeleton collapse, nuclear envelope disassembles, and break up into fragments. These fragments further release signals that attract macrophages which engulf these apoptotic bodies. Broadly speaking, there are two ways a cell die in multicellular organism. Either they are killed by things that harm them by necrosis or are triggered to program cell death by apoptosis. Both occur under different circumstances and involve different steps. In contrast to apoptosis, cells that die in response to acute trauma or lack of blood supply usually do by a process called necrosis. These cells swell and burst, splitting their content over neighbor, eliciting an inflammatory response. Apoptosis also differs from necrosis in that it is essential to human development. For example, in the womb, our fingers and toes are connected to one another by sort of webbing, and apoptosis led to the formation of fingers and toes. There are two major apoptotic pathways. Extrinsic signaling pathway through death receptors that led to the formation of death-induced signaling complex, and intrinsic pathway through mitochondria, which led to the formation of apoptosome. Caspase. Cas caspases are a family of aspartate-specific cysteine proteases and act as primary mediators of apoptosis. Their synthesis is inactive zymogen. Inactive means that zymogen means that inactive or active may convert. And their activation occurs following receipt of an intrinsic or extrinsic death signals. Caspases do two types: one is initiator caspase, one is executioner caspase. Often caspase eight and nine function as initiator. And 3, 6, and 7 function as executioner caspase. This uh, is inactive form of initiator caspase. There two domains are adapter binding domain and a protease domain. Hai. Apoptotic signals trigger the adapter protein, which binds to the initiator caspase and converts it to inactive form of active form. Now, the active caspase further binds to the executioner caspase, which is in active form. Mein hota hai. And this binding convert to the inactive se active form. Now, uh, active caspase, jo hai, active executioner caspase, further cleavage to multiple substrates thi, and leads to apoptosis. Extrinsic pathway. Extrinsic pathway in occurs in response to external stimuli, namely by specific ligand binding a death receptor on cell surface. Death receptors. These transmembrane proteins are in three domains. Hoti a extracellular ligand binding domain, a single transmembrane domain, or a single intracellular death domain. The single intracellular death domain, we further, uh, it 
is required to activate a product program. This target cell is a process and it has FAS death receptors. This is a lymphocyte which has trimeric FAS ligand. This binds with the receptor. This is further FADD. This is an adapter protein. Often termed as FAS associated death protein. This is two domains. One is death domain and one is death affected domain. This is a death affected domain bind with Caspase 8 death affected domain. And this binding leads to the formation of disc death induced signaling complex. Now within this two adjacent initiator caspases interact and cleave one another to form an activated caspase 8. The activated caspase 8 releases the cytosol. Mein. Uh, sorry. The release of the activated caspase 8 or a further uh, activation of the executional caspases ki, jo, uh, uh, which leads to the process. Intrinsic pathway often termed as mitochondrial pathway. Key protein in intrinsic pathway is cytochrome C a water-soluble component of electron transport chain. Intrinsic pathway mainly triggers apoptosis in response to internal stimuli, which uh, biochemical stress or DNA damage or lack of growth factor. Intracellular apoptotic stimulus cause the mitochondria to release the cytochrome C cytosol. This cytochrome C bind with adapter protein ABAF1 and this binding leads to the activation of ABF1. Each ABAF1 has a caspase recruitment domain CRD. Seven ABF1 molecules uh, form karte hai, uh, ring, large ring complex apoptosome And each CRD jo hai, ke bind karta hai with uh, multiple domains with domains of multiple caspase 9 uh, molecules. Uh, which are recruited in apoptosome and are activated. This activation leads to activation of executional caspases and in turn leads to apoptosis. Role of BCL2 family protein in intrinsic pathway. BCL2 family proteins. A major class of intracellular regulator of intrinsic pathway is BCL2 family protein. If human BCL2 family protein is expressed in worm, it can suppress apoptosis. BCL2 family protein regulate the pathway ko by controlling release of cytochrome C and other mitochondrial proteins in cytosol. BCL2 family protein are either pro-apoptotic which promote apoptosis ko, or are anti-apoptotic which inhibit apoptosis ko. Our balance between these two proteins decides whether a cell will die or not. Mitochondria is the outer mitochondrial membrane and intermembrane space. Hai. Or it's going to be cytochrome C or other proteins. The uh, inactive affected BCL2 family protein is the outer mitochondrial membrane. Uh, Apoprotic stimulus binds with this protein and it converts to active, convert ho jate, which leads to release of cytochrome C and other proteins in cytosol. Regulation of intrinsic pathways. In absence of apoprotic uh, stimulus, Anti-apoprotic BCL2 family protein present hote hain, jo bind karte inactive affected protein ko. Aur ye binding jo is inactive ko active mein convert nahi karti, balki inhibit karne thi apoprotic pathway ko. Jiski wajah se cytochrome C aur dusre protein release nahi hote cytosol mein. Aur inhibition ho jati intrinsic pathway ki. Activation. Uh, apoprotic stimulus jo present hota hai na, to BHC only proteins hote hain jo bind karte hain anti-apoprotic family protein ke saath. And this binding stops this protein to further bind and not inhibit the pathway. Ko. Uh, it converts the inactive factor proteins to active form and cytochrome C and other proteins are released in the cytosol. Mein. Ways in which extracellular signals can inhibit apoptosis. Some extracellular signal molecules stimulate while others inhibit this process. For example, FS ligand which activates the death receptor. Ko. However, there are some extracellular signals which block apoptosis and are called survival factors. Survival factors usually bind to the cell surface receptor and so activate the intracellular signaling pathway ko, or suppress the apoptotic program. Ko. For example, synthesis of anti-apoptotic BCL2 family protein. Uh, inactivation of pro-apoptotic BHT only protein. But I think BHT proteins bind to anti-apoptotic proteins. Ke 
ताकि वो फर्दर इनहिबिट ना कर सके पाथवे को तो अगर इन्हीं की इनएक्टिवेशन हो जाए तो ये इनहिबिट नहीं कर सकेगा एंटी एपोप्रोटिक प्रोटीन को और पाथवे इनहिबिट हो जाएगा आई ए पीस आई ए पीस जो है फैमिली होती है प्रोटीन की जिन्हें इनहिबिटर ऑफ एपोप्रोसिस कहते हैं ये फर्स्टली आइडेंटिफाई होती है इंसेक्ट वायरसेज में जो इनकोड करते थे आई ए पी प्रोटीन्स ताकि प्रिवेंट कर सके हॉस्ट सेल को फ्राम किलिंग इट सेल्फ थ्रू एपोप्रोसिस ये जो एक्ट करते हैं एज अ इनहिबिटर बैरियर मतलब एपोप्रोसिस के प्रोसेस को स्टॉप कर देते हैं इन कंट्रास्ट टू आई ए पी एंटी आई पी प्रजेंट होते हैं जो प्रोड्यूस होते हैं एपोप्रोटिक स्टिमुलस की प्रेजेंट एपोप्रोटिक स्टिमुलस की वजह से और ये प्रोसेस को कैरी करते हैं तो अगर आई ए पी की इनएक्टिवेशन हो जाए तो एपोप्रोसिस का प्रोसेस नहीं हो सकेगा जिसकी वजह से इंटरसेलर पाथ जो है इनहिबिट हो जाएगा एपोप्रोसेस हैव एन फाउंड इन ट्यूमर डिवेलपमेंट से कैंसर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इनेबलिंग कैंसर सेल्स टू सर्वाइव Besides involvement in tumor development, they have been found in many other diseases, for example, heart attacks, strokes, uh, diabetes. Short recap दे देती हूँ कि intrinsic pathway और ये extrinsic pathway है Extrinsic pathway activate होता था cell injury की वजह से Cell injury जो activate करती है बी सी एल टी फैमिली प्रोटीन्स को जो कि फर्दर एक्टिवेट करती है अफेक्टेड प्रोटीन को और वो कॉज करते हैं माइटर कॉन्डियो को रिलीज करें साइटोक्रॉम सी को साइटोसोल में ये साइटोक्रॉम सी बाइंड करता था अडेप्टर प्रोटीन के साथ और एक्टिवेट करता है इनिशिएटर कैसपेस को जो फिर एग्जीक्यूशन कैसपेस को एक्टिवेट करके प्रोसेस कैरी आउट करते हैं एक्सटेंसिंग पाथ है जो है वो उनमें क्या होता है कि रिसेप्टर रिसेप्टर लेगन इंटरेक्शन होती हैं एफ जो है वो बाइंड करता है अडेप्टर प्रोटीन के साथ वो फर्दर एक्टिवेट करते हैं इनिशियटर कैसपेस को और वो एक्टिवेट करते हैं एग्जीक्यूशन कैसपेस को और एवर प्रोसेस हो जाती है इस डायग्राम में भी यही बताया हुआ है एक्सट्रेंसिक पास में क्या होता है डेथ लेगे बाइंड करते हैं रिसेप्टर के साथ वो एक्टिवेट करते हैं इनिशियट कैसपेजेट को जो फर्दर इफेक्टर को एक्टिवेट करते हैं और सेल डेथ हो जाती है और इंट्रेंसिक पास में भी यही होता है कि डी एन ए डैमेज किसी भी सॉर्ट का डी एन ए डैमेज हो सकता है वो कॉज करते हैं माइट्रोकोन साइटोक्रॉम सी को रिलीज करें साइटोसोल में जो फर्दर एक्टिवेट करें इनिशियटर कैसपेज को और इंट्रेन इफेक्टर कैसपेज एक्टिवेट होगा और सेल